Hello everyone, my name is Xueping Ong and I'm a core developer of the Materials project. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Lithium Battery Explorer. This is part one of the tutorial which will talk about lithium ion batteries in general and the properties that people are interested in in designing lithium ion batteries. Let me start by introducing what are lithium ion batteries. Lithium ion batteries are a type of rechargeable battery. They are one of the most popular types of batteries for portable consumer electronics such as handphones, cameras, laptops and iPads. They have one of the highest energy densities of any energy storage technology and they are increasingly being considered for large-scale applications such as hybrid electric vehicles. So how do lithium ion batteries work? A lithium ion battery consists of two electrodes, a cathode and an anode in an electrolyte solution. During charge, an external potential is applied between the two electrodes. When this happens, lithium from the cathode is moved into the anode. During this charge, the opposite happens. Lithium from the anode moves through the electrolyte as lithium plus ions while an electron moves through the external circuit and perform electrical work. Let me now introduce what are the most relevant properties for a lithium ion battery electrode. One of the most important properties of a lithium ion battery electrode is its voltage. The voltage is a measure of the difference in free energy of lithium between the anode and the cathode. It is given by this expression that you see here. While generally higher voltage means higher energy densities, current electrolytes can only support voltages of up to about 5 volts. The capacity is another important property of an electrode. The capacity is a measure of how many lithium you can pack in an electrode per unit weight or volume of material. Other than the voltage and capacity, there are many other properties of interest to battery researchers. For example, energy density and specific energy are very important properties. They measure how much energy is in the material per unit volume or per unit weight. They are given by the voltage multiplied by the capacity of an electrode. Another property that is important is the volume change upon deletiation. Large volume changes during deletiation may lead to structural instability. The stability of a material is another important property of an electrode. Unstable materials may be difficult or impossible to synthesize. Finally, the critical oxygen chemical potential is a measure of the safety of the material. Electrodes that evolve oxygen at high oxygen chemical potentials are potentially unsafe. In general, electrodes can be classified into two main types. Intercalation electrodes are the most common and essentially the electrode is a host structure that can contain lithium. <coughs> Examples of intercalation electrodes are lithium cobalt oxide, the most common cathode material in use today, lithium iron phosphate, and graphite, the most common anode material today. Another type of electrode material are conversion electrodes. They are less common and they function by undergoing a chemical reaction where the electrode structure is created and destroyed during operation. Examples of conversion electrodes are iron fluoride and lithium peroxide which is formed during the operation of a lithium air battery. 
So what is the Lithium Battery Explorer? The Lithium Battery Explorer is a customized search tool for lithium-ion electrode materials. It displays information about existing materials and it also allows you to discover new materials. You can search for electrodes using relevant battery properties such as voltage, capacity, energy density, and specific energy, and many others. The Battery Explorer also displays information that are useful to battery researchers, such as the voltage profile of a material, the safety, and the lithium plus diffusivity. This concludes the first part of the two-part tutorial on the Lithium-Ion Battery Explorer.